right welcome back now I've done quite a few videos wherein I've spoken about which tool set you should be looking at in terms of learning DevOps now DevOps is is it's pretty huge now uh, it, it's majorly about tools now in this session I'm going to talk about how I got started as a DevOps engineer how I created or paved my path in a world of DevOps so I started as a system engineer primarily I was working in a different just like many of you who is watching the video maybe you're already working as a network engineer or a system engineer and you would like to jump onto DevOps engineer field what it takes to become a DevOps engineer I'm gonna share my path or my journey so I was initially working as a, a as a business analyst I was working at a startup and I was primarily uh, responsible for meeting customers meeting meeting with different developers understanding set of problem and then probably formulating or beautifying things or words onto a piece of paper known as RFPs or business proposals or functional documents now your background could be different you are either a fresher or a system engineer or a Linux administrator um, which which many of the DevOps engineer initially are how do they become a DevOps engineer or how do they get started so first thing I would recommend is get started pick up any cloud now could be anything could be AWS could be Azure could be uh, Google Cloud and then things are really easy nowadays you get 200 or 300 dollars of free credit you can get easily get started create your uh, trial account and start spinning up random resources you do not gonna have to spend even a single penny and that's how I also got started second thing you want to do is once you have gotten started with these cloud pick up any of the modern day uh, technologies now these days at point of recording this video 2022 uh, August what's happening is every application or every deployment happening is is on cloud or on containers could be your uh, Kubernetes cluster or docker using docker so you have to learn these two things really really well docker and Kubernetes cluster Kubernetes is huge so by reading it theoretically won't be enough for interviews you'll have to spin up a Kubernetes cluster easiest way is to uh, spin up a managed Kubernetes cluster on Azure or AWS and deploy a hello world program and then understand the nitty gritties of those applications just start with very simple hello world program and probably uh, watch out for what is a pod and how that pod is accessible how you can exec into the pod how you can get the logs of it if you can do that that's gonna be a really really good starting point third thing which you could do is once you have manually deployed or manually spent up these cloud platform or virtual machine or Kubernetes cluster start codifying it now easiest way to do is using Terraform or Ansible or could be any any of the Pulumi as well nowadays it has come start with JSON if you don't know any program program any, any of the programs like uh, Java C++ Python that's fine start with a JSON based or a YAML based template could be if you're working on uh, AWS probably start working on uh, using a using cloud formation if you're using Azure probably start off with ARM templates these are JSON based and you, with JSON you don't have to write much of logics right you nowadays you could but if you don't know any programming language easiest to get started so third is uh, pick up any infrastructure as a code and slowly I know initially it's not easy but if you are already into a system background system engineering background you probably know a bash or PowerShell one of these two languages I'm sure you must be working on so try to revisit them and try to understand how could how you could just convert single line of code into a script now script are nothing but a when you combine piece of commands together with some logics if else or conditions for loop that becomes a script pretty simple right so fourth thing is you got to have some sort of scripting language now depends uh, what type of uh, what type of experience level you're getting into two to four years of experience nobody's gonna ask you that you got to be proficient onto um, onto scripting but 
it must be nowadays people are very competitive so without these skill set without any of the skin single uh, scripting language things going to be really really difficult for you last one i would say is uh, create a project create a dummy project in your um, uh, local or your on your cloud platform could be azure aws whatever you spend up and try to formulate everything as you would be working for a client you start off with understanding what type of application it is whether it's an e-commerce application just try to imagine things on your mind you don't have to write all the piece of code just imagine how the workflow would be you would start from what first you would start from understanding what the application is about second is what that application would be written in java python dot net uh, kotlin or whatnot would you use a database if yes which database uh, sql postgres mysql uh, cassandra or any of those um, non relational relation database so application database and now how would you deploy it where you would you deploy why would you deploy would you deploy on a kubernetes cluster or a virtual machine why would you deploy on a virtual machine why would you deploy on a kubernetes cluster answer these question um, by yourself and i think half of the uh, interviews already won you should be good rest all the things are available majority of the things are available over web but this is the five step process which you need to follow um, in order to prepare for your devops interview first you pick up any cloud you second you create resources on top of those cloud could be your storage account could be a kubernetes cluster uh, third manually whatever you have created now convert that into an infrastructure as a code could be using json yaml or a desired chain language like pulumi or terraform now pick up any uh, fourth one would be pick up any scripting language could be bash powershell uh, could be anything majority would be out of any of these two and then create a project on your own try to be your own client and own your own customer own infrastructure engineer developer and try to think around that how an architecture looks like even if you don't understand try to read few of the sample architecture from the documentation of azure or aws this plethora of documentation already available so yeah, these are the five steps which you should follow and primarily i also followed the same process um, there might be first few interviews you might just not be able to give or express or not interview might not go as it should be but eventually those would be your practiced interviews mock interviews and then eventually you'll uh, land up into a devops engineer job All right that's about it i hope it was informative um, if you have any other questions or any other looking for any solutions for any of the devops related interview related uh, problems feel free to leave a comment on this video i hope it was informative thank you